There we go. Now he's benefiting from every single damage boost. So there's 50%. The only one we're missing is the 25%. We'll do the massive 200 damage. Also 5 million life. Hey guys, guys, welcome back to another monster video. So in today's video, I'm going to be reviewing the monster Yoshi-sama, which is the free PvP monster right now for this season. And we're going to go ahead and feed it up from level 1 to 100. I'm going to show you guys the best skills, the best room setup, and everything you need to know about this new mythic monster. So I hope you're all excited. If you are, make sure you drop a like, subscribe. Anyways, let's go ahead and get started. Alright guys, so take a look at this. We have Yoshi-sama here. I'm going to go ahead and craft it up, spend 50 gems to speed it up, and we're going to go ahead and hatch it up. So this is um, Bucky's account, and she went ahead and gave me permission to record this video for you guys uh and review this monster so it is a water monster i'm gonna see where she actually keeps her water monsters right here right is it is it water i, I think it's water right okay it's water and metal so here it is let's hatch it up there and this is ladies and gentlemen the free pvp monster all right so yoshi sama 1206 go to library collect this up okay that's gonna open up straight away obviously so we just went ahead and hash this monster up and let's take a look at okay so the skills obviously we can't really take a look at it yet but i was going to take a look at the traits so traits it means a stun it means a blind and access to precision which could have been better come on those traits are not really the best but anyways let's speed this little guy up we're gonna get him to 100 and then what we're gonna do is take a look at the skills. We're gonna change the skills, equip them with relics and runes, and then okay. So we have triple damage for one turn and precision, which is actually nice. But again, there are better supporters out there that can do this a lot better. Uh, modded war damage to one enemy removes all torture from all allies. I do like the remove all torture from everybody, and it's not just to one ally; it's to everybody. And then obviously this one. Um, so when it comes down to like the best skills, in my personal opinion, I think these are his four best skills, but you can run something like this as well. Uh, but then like, if you think about it, you have already triple damage with precision. Although I would have taken the true vision over precision, like, you know what I mean? That would have been cool. Um, but you do have precision to all allies, low water damage, and I don't think anybody's going to run those ones. Honestly, except maybe this one. Uh, but honestly, in my opinion these are the four best skills you can run for this monster in terms of stamina it's moderate to low uh actually yeah it's about it's about moderate cooldown then what's stamina so that means staff staff comes in play so with staff you can actually give in a staff that will regenerate stamina and then when it comes down to banners you can either do a supportive one like alarox banner or something different i think i'm gonna do alarox banner because it just it's really nice overall like Healing, healing allies, it comes in handy. It is level element, so water and metal, you know what I mean? That's there. Uh, when it comes down to runes, what I would highly recommend for this monster is giving in triple speed. Make this monster faster than your attacker. Because you're gonna be pairing this monster with an pairing it up with an attacker. So make this monster go before your attacker. So that means either go in triple speed, two speed, one team speed, one speed, two team speed, or even triple team speed, as long as he takes in first turn. Alright. Um, but anyways, ultimate. Removes positive status from all enemies, uh, deals moderate metal damage to all enemies, removes all negative status effects from all allies, and applies a random positive status effect from all allies as well. Uh, here are the stats like I mentioned. We're going to go ahead and pair this monster up, use it in adventure map. So a better option would be Al Albinasa. You know what I mean? This monster is an excellent monster. You can actually pair him up with this, or uh, obviously there's Elgata. Elgata is super old though, so I'm not going to include that one, but he is an option. And then obviously K11. K11, you know, it's metal and water elements, same as him. Uh, so we're gonna have our attacker. We're gonna go ahead and pair it up with a attacker from this era. Let's get rid of the water element. So we're gonna go with him as the attacker. And obviously our supporter, which is going to be the one and only. Where is he? It's, it's not. Oh, shoot. Wrong one. Water element, here it is. So here, this is what I meant earlier. Make this monster take in first turn before your attacker. But since the attacker is at 150 and this one's at 100, you guys can see even given that speed and no speed on this monster, it makes that difference. So I don't want to spend gems to remove the uh, on the lock runes, but if I were to pair him up with this attacker, I would do maybe two or three speed just so that he takes in the first turn before him. So here, what we're gonna do. Does he have his... Yeah, he has this skill. 
So he already has a double damage. We can actually use that to our advantage. And we're going to do the triple damage on top of that. So now he's benefiting from 500% damage boost. And look at this damage, ladies and gentlemen. This AoE skill. 2.59 million. Pretty cool, right? So you can pair him up with a pure monster like that. Or if you have Serpentix, I'm sure many of you guys do have Serpentix. That would be nice too. So this time I want to do a single target attack instead of the AoE. We'll do triple damage with the double damage. And let's use the massive water damage against this one. 4 million damage. That's pretty cool. That wasn't kicks in. <laughs> Let me pair it up with a different attacker. This one's too OP. Oh no, that one's that was even OP in my opinion. Um let's see, let's see. Who do who do you want to uh Cobwork? Cobwork is pretty good. Sure. But I believe Cobwork has all damaging skills, although these ones give him like damage boosts, but he attacks in order to get those. So you can either do the triple damage or you could do a double damage and give torture immunity to that monster as well. I feel like he'd be best to pair up with this monster because I know he has like Sazcaster torture immunity but eventually it'll run out so you can give him double damage with the torture immunity that way he kind of like resists those uh you know tortures when it comes that towards him because he's a he's a megaton right um I feel like that'll actually help out against that we'll do this AoE skill Cool. And we'll just charge up, give him triple damage this time. Wait, what does he have right now? Let's see, he has triple damage, double damage. Oh, we, sh we should have given a different type of damage boost, right? We should have given like a 50% damage boost or something because he already had uh, the other one. Let's let's try it again. Let's do this. So, here's what we're going to do. We're going to charge up. Charge up. I want to give the double damage. He does his triple damage skill. And then we give in a normal damage boost to all allies. There we go. Now he's benefiting from every single damage boost. So there's 50%. The only one we're missing is the 25%. We'll do the massive 100 damage. Also 5 million life. Or 5 million damage. Not bad. Not bad at all. So again, when it comes down to a uh, better supporter, uh, there are better options. Can 11, uh, Albinasa, and many more. Even Ion. Ion V2, I think that's his name, or Ion V3 from this era, I believe it was. Is it is it Metal Monster? Pretty sure it is. Ion V2, right here. Um, and there's a few other options, obviously, or many other ones, but he's still not bad. For a free-to-play monster, he's not bad. Like, if you're a starter and you pick this monster up, he's gonna help you out. You know what I mean? So I'd I'd invest in it. Uh if you're if you're watching this and you're like a beginner, this monster's good, you know, invest in him. Pair him up with your best attacker and you can definitely reach the high leagues. But yeah guys, that's gonna wrap it up for today's monster video. Hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did make sure you drop a like, subscribe, and that's gonna be pretty much it. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.